Yeah, well, the whole defense uh, received championship honors here this weekend uh, just because of how we played on defense. It's a, a real testament to uh, the way the guys have bought into what we're trying to do and the silver bullet uh, philosophy. Uh, I think our overall defensively, um, all 11 guys and even some of the backups are playing at a high level. It's hard to point out any individual, any uh, specific uh, group. I just think all of us together are playing well. Chris, would you guys spend any time looking at the backup quarterback, or do you just expect that it'll be Cook out there and nothing, nothing would change? Oh, Cook will play. I mean, uh, <laughs> he's a competitor. Uh, he'll play. Uh, they have had several uh, snaps of a backup quarterback in there. They've played a lot with two quarterbacks out on the field. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they got some similarities, but they have differences, and we'll be ready with whoever's out there. When Cook's out there, what, what makes him special, in your opinion? As Urban Meyer said, he's a winner on top of everything else. Uh, but what just sets him apart a little bit? Uh, well, he's got a very strong arm. He can make all the throws. He's athletic enough to avoid pressure also. Uh, understands our system, understands defenses, gets them in and out of plays, reads coverage as well. I mean, you name it, uh, what you want in your quarterback, you pretty much see that in him. Mm -hmm. Chris, you've been associated with a lot of defenses. Is is this defensive front you've got, Urban Meyer was referring to them, you know, being quite disruptive. I mean, he thinks it's playing as well as maybe any front in the country. What Do you see that too, and what just stands out about your defensive front right now? Oh, you, you see the front getting better every week as we move forward through the season. Uh, you see a front that's developing more and more depth also that's very critical to our success as we co go down the stretch here. But um, they are disruptive. They are making plays both in the run game and in the pass game. And it's exciting to see it makes everybody else's job easier. It makes the linebacker fits easier because there's cleaner pictures. Um, and then it, it obviously helps in the secondary and the pass defense because we're getting to the quarterback and putting pressure on the quarterback. Uh, that's what I was going to follow with. Raekwon, I mean, is he, compared to this time a year ago, how far along has he come? I mean, just from a play recognition standpoint, fit in the gaps, et cetera? Uh, it's not even close. I mean, he, he was still a freshman last year. He was split in time with Curtis Grant. He's gotten all the reps here this year. A uh, completely different player, uh, much more confident player, a faster player, uh, understands our defense a lot more, uh, getting to the ball a lot quicker. Uh, so uh, to compare him to last year, I mean, it's not even the same kid. Chris, does it allow you to game plan any differently with the defense? when you can expect that your defensive line is going to be disrupted? It, uh, it helps. <laughs> like I think every defensive coach out there would, uh, if you're going to build your defense, you would want to start up front and build it from the inside out with the defensive line being first. And, you know, fortunately here, in my two years here, we've had a pretty disrupted def defensive line. And uh, that has been continuing here as we go through the season. It's, it's getting better. But, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, it makes everything a little bit easier if you know that you can hold the point and you can get after the quarterback.